At Baton Lake, fishing for catfish was slow to fare when using chicken liver and dough bait. At Bill Evans Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using spinner baits. At Caballo Lake, fishing for walleye was good when using minnows. Fishing for catfish was good when using cut bait. At Carlsbad Municipal Lake, fishing for catfish was slow to fare when using chicken liver and dough bait. At Chaparral Park Lake, fishing for bass was fair to good when using Texas rigged, green colored bandito plastic bugs. At Eagle Nest Lake, fishing for trout was good when using green glitter power bait, blue fox spinners, four inch perch pattern rapala lures, and floating pike minnow lures. Fishing for pike was slow to fare when using four inch perch pattern lures. Fishing for Kokani salmon was slow to fare when using silver castmaster lures. At Eagle Rock Lake, fishing for trout was fair when using salmon eggs and power bait. At Elephant Butte Lake, fishing for bass was good when using silver and blue rat L trap lures and white crankbaits. Fishing for white bass was very good when using rat L trap lures, flicker shad lures, chrome castmaster lures, and shad pattern swim baits. Fishing for walleye was good when using chartreuse grubs and silver spinners. Fishing for catfish was fair to good when using live minnows, cut shad bait, and cut carp bait. And at Pecos River, fishing for trout was good when using panther martin spinners and glitter power bait. Fishing for catfish was good when using chicken breasts and hot dogs. Eagle Rock Lake and the Pecos River were each stocked this week with rainbow trout. And our catch of the week is, drumroll please... <laughs> Rutger Carr of Rio Doso caught and released a 19.58 pound catfish and a 35 inch 38 pound catfish using cut bait at Grindstone Reservoir. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another fishing and stocking report update. For Crazy Radio, I'm Sarah Morrow. This week's fishing report was sponsored by Rennie Fit New Mexico.